So the tiny bird actually managed to catch one. His sit and wait strategy didn't work too well. He waited too long. Whoa, okay. look, he's making Tyler says he's making calls. He's calling and saying, here I am. Help so me. He's still trying to call for the females. Now, let's look. One of the ways also to tell males versus females is the males should have a better gripping front forelimb because that's it, the, the, the hand part, if you will, because that's where they're going to be grasping the female. And you can see it's got, he's got some, I think this is a he. Actually, I'm not able to What about the bumps on, see on so his well. back? I gotta tell you that he's a toad. Oh. Yeah, the toads have typically much bumpier backs than the frogs do. And frogs spend a lot more of their time in the water than toads do. Toads are usually in very moist environments and you won't see them typically, oftentimes you don't see them in the middle of the day. Um, you'll see them come out in the morning or if it's raining, they'll be out. But they don't usually hang out in the ponds. Frogs are much more likely Should to I put hang them back? out in the top ponds okay. unless there's something like uh, special kinds of frogs like tree frogs. Now, actually, it'd be a great idea to put them back. You don't want your toads or your frogs to dry out. They're amphibians, which means they yep. breathe through their skin and they need a lot of moisture. So are we going to throw this animal back in no, the pond? No, I'm going to go put him just by the side of the pond right here. Good, you're going to put him very gently near the water and then we're going to let him, oh, oh. there he went, we're going to let him jump himself mm -hmm. back into the water. Great, and then we're always going to wash off our hands before we go to eat or anything else. Yeah.